On this episode of The Big Red Kitchen Show, we have former Husker and current Cincinnati Bengal Trevor Roach with his amazing taco pizza. And on today's show, we're going to see how we can use this handy kitchen gadget when you forget to take your hamburger out of the freezer and it's frozen solid. Plus, John from Salt Restaurant has another great drink pairing that will spice that taco pizza right up. Well, sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode today. The Big Red Kitchen Show is brought to you by Salt Restaurant, Ren's Display, the Pampered Chef products provided by Teresa Brown, Sea of Red Wine, DeFord Family Dental, Dr. Kathy DeFord, Rotella's Bakery, Just Good Meats, Quality Mark Home Repair and Remodeling, Waddell and Reed Financial Advisors, East Bark Media, D Tendenza Food Styling and Photography. Hi, I'm Sherry Potter, and I am a professional food photographer, food stylist, and I love to test out new recipes in my studio kitchen. And on today's show, we are going to be talking about this wonderful, simple to make taco pizza. I love it, and I can't wait to have you guys love it as much as I do. But before we do that, let me introduce you to my co host, Angela. Thank you so much, Sherry. I'm Angela Waltman. I'm the creator of the Big Red Recipes Cookbook, which is actually a series now of cookbooks featuring former Husker athletes. We were very excited to release our first cookbook, which was full of football players, 45 to be exact. Um, in August of 2015, we are now working on our baseball cookbook, which should come out this spring, as well as our second football cookbook. There's so many great football players, we just had to do a second edition. So very happy to bring on one of those former athletes onto our show today. We've got Trevor Roach, who just recently was a former Husker. 2014 is when, or 2015, 14? 2014. Okay. 2014. Yes. <laughs> was when he graduated and is now playing with the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm so excited. it's always fun to talk to a player who's currently in the major leagues. I don't know if that's technically correct for football. I don't we think We had a so. baseball player on last time. So um, always fun to talk NFL. to them. NFL. Just go with that. The yeah. league. How about the league? The league. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> So it's always fun to talk to them about the difference between playing for the Huskers and playing for the NFL. So I'm very excited to be talking to him today. Uh, please go visit BigRedRecipes.com. You can find out more information about our first book, which is available and coming soon. We'll have more information about all the players that will be in our baseball book and our second football book. Awesome. I can't wait to have that one come out and see it. Absolutely. So, Trevor, I would love for him to tell us more about himself. Okay, so, well, let's have him on. Should we go ahead and bring him on? I guess so. All right, Trevor. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Very good. Thanks so much for coming on. Hi, welcome. Thanks for to having We're going to put you in the middle yeah, here. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show. You bet. Thanks for coming. Not a problem. So, tell us a little bit about, it's got to be a very exciting time, first of all, playing for the Huskers. Oh, yeah. And then going on to play in the NFL. Can you tell us a little bit about that? transition mm -hmm. and how that happened. Yeah, so I was fortunate enough to go uh, play at UNL for the Huskers. Uh, had a great career there, you know, enjoyed it. Uh, met a lot of great people and I wouldn't be on the show if I wouldn't have been there. <laughs> yes. So that's a plus. Yes. Um, and then being in Cincinnati, that's been awesome too. Oh, you know, it's yeah. a great city, a lot like Omaha. Um, and they picked me up and I've been there ever since and Perfect. couldn't be better. So. Awesome. And we're, we're really excited that Trevor still lives here yep. during the off season, so we were able to get him on his show. Oh. So tell us a little bit about how that works. You're engaged, correct? Yep, to I'm your engaged. high school sweetheart? Yep. We've oh, been together congratulations. A over, oh, thank you. So exciting. Yeah. Stephanie. Yep, her name's <laughs> Stephanie. We've been together for a little over eight years now. That's wonderful. Uh, we get married in about a month. So oh my gosh. It's exciting, yeah. Getting married here in Omaha? Yep, out of Indian Creek Golf Course. and oh, That's a great oh, place. That's a, a time, beautiful so place. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm excited. Now, Stephanie still lives here mm -hmm. while you're in Cincinnati. How does that work? Uh, it's kind of tough, um, <laughs> especially now we're getting married. We still got to figure that out because um, yeah. I can end up anywhere being in the NFL, and that's always difficult. Uh, she really likes her job. She works at Children's Hospital. Okay. Uh, so she likes that a lot. Um, 
So we're just playing it by year. You know, it's tough being away for a long time, mm -hmm. um, but I try to fly her up there as much as possible. Yeah. That's so. nice having that that long relationship background too. So oh, yeah. You know, yeah. you know yeah. that you can trust each other and mm -hmm. go do your thing. I'll do mine, and we'll figure yeah. it out Helps as we a go. Lot, so. mm -hmm. yeah. And Stephanie apparently is the one who actually created this recipe. Is that correct? Uh, I don't know if she created it, but that's where <laughs> I've ate it, and it's, I like it. So, does she let you get in the kitchen with her? We've got. You know some some different. I know we've stories, heard some we've heard some know? stories. Some yeah. of the guys some, take credit yes. for some. You know they say uh -huh. they stay out of it. So do you guys cook together? Or we how actually does that we work? cook together a lot. Um, I got into cooking just because I love to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like making pizzas, and she made me diversify my uh, eating think. habits a little Women bit. Women are good at that. Yeah, <laughs> and so yeah, we cook quite a bit together. So That's it's awesome. awesome. So tell me a little bit about. I'm always fascinated by this because I remember Jeremiah Searles was um, was our first guest on the first mm -hmm. season yep. and talked a little bit about weight in the mm -hmm. NFL and how. Or I think it was Zach that talked. Oh, Zach to, Potter. Zach yeah. Potter right, talked right, about yeah. being yeah. fined when they're overweight. Mm -hmm. So how does that work? Is that? Yeah. So you weigh in probably once a week. Uh, teams might do it differently, but for every pound you're over your weight, they can fine you up to like 550 bucks a pound, and so wow. you better be on weight. And Jeez, yeah, it's, it's like wrestling almost. It's, it's crazy, yeah. I, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> so do you work with a nutritionist in, in the NFL or for the Bengals that, that works mm -hmm. with you on, you know, altering your diet and how does that? Yeah, so they have a nutritionist there. Uh, you can ask them any questions or anything, but most of the guys that are there, uh, most of their colleges had nutritionists and stuff. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so they pretty much know what they're getting into, but. I suppose it's your, it's your career. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. So that's just part of it. Yep, and huh, so. Yeah. So do, now, do you have uh, an apartment with other teammates, or do you, you know, do you guys rent a home? How do you? Where, what are your living accommodations when you're a pro football player? Well, when I was in Cincinnati, I actually lived in a hotel. Oh uh, my! How fun. And it was. <laughs> it was terrible. But, See, See? But, uh, I, didn't I didn't mind it because you know you're working seven days a week, so you're yeah. always there at the stadium, working out and doing all that stuff. Uh -huh. And then you go home, and I basically just watch Netflix, and I fell asleep. Oh. Uh, which it's all right. I don't mind doing that. Uh, but now that I'm back in Omaha, um, I got an apartment with my fiance. I'm not living there now. I'm with my mom just because it's like a two weeks, mm -hmm. and then I'll be back living with her once we get married. Uh, but yeah, she's living in an apartment now, and exciting. that's crazy. So, so the Bengals. Mm -hmm. Do you play and talk to Rex a lot? Uh, yes, I know Rex very well. He's an yep. awesome guy. So. Yep. So that's got to be fun. Are there any other former Huskers that play for the Bengals uh, currently? There are not right now. So just the so two of you. Hopefully we get some more soon. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. Now how does the training table different mm -hmm. for the NFL than it is for, for college ball? Yeah, it's very different. Um, I'd say, uh, let me think, in college, basically they have, honestly, they have a lot more options, which is, really? you know, it's, it's nice. I mean, I was very fortunate to be there because once you move on, you're like, man, I wish I had the training table again oh. in Nebraska. Um, but uh, the NFL has been great. You know, they don't feed you as much just because, you know, it's, it's a job, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. and they're trying to keep as much money as they can. So, but is, uh, it, is it three meals a day or um, just two and then it's usually two. breakfast on your um, own, dinner on your own? Either, yeah. So usually it, in camp, they feed you three. Okay. But uh, during the season, they feed you two. They feed you breakfast and lunch. And then once you're done, dinner's on your own. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, I am always fascinated, especially players who play for the Huskers, who grew up in this area. Mm -hmm. Was it a big dream growing up? Did you know that's what you wanted to do? Did you just start excelling the, in that area? Um, I actually didn't dream up of playing for the Huskers. Uh, my dad played at Iowa State, um, and so I grew up an Iowa State fan. And oh, my goodness. Yeah, that so was a transition <laughs> right there. It's a big there. transition. And then when I was getting recruited, I was getting recruited by both of them. And I, was, I had a bunch of friends going to UNL, and I wanted to win, so, <laughs> so I had to go to UNL. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Winning uh, is a good attitude, it is. Oh, thank especially you. when you're playing football. <laughs> so you're a linebacker. Yep. What about your dad? Same position? My dad was a fullback, actually. Okay. Yep. Now tell me the difference between those two positions. Um, so fullbacks are a lot of times the ones blocking the linebackers. Okay. Uh, so they're kind of similar in, like, body type and stuff like that. Uh, fullback is more of, you know, Blocking, I mean, it could be any position really, but okay. they just try to get the running back space to run. Uh, they're not used as much as anymore. Uh, okay. It's kind of a dying breed. Okay. Uh, but linebacker is, I try to tackle you at the ball, long story short. Yeah. So. Speaking of tackles, yes. we have a fan question that they Ooh. wanted you to answer, and I'm awesome. going to have to make sure I get it straight here. How many tackles did you have against Michigan State in 2014? Oh, I had 18. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. 18. That Is that a one, record? That seems uh, like a lot. For me, yeah, but I mean, I'm sure Levante David had a lot more than that. I mean, he's pretty good. So. <laughs> and I believe the follow-up question was, why wasn't it 19? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's Oscar high standards. fans. It's oh, Oscar high fans. Standards. <laughs> Come on. We love when we have our fans tweet in questions because right. it throws the player off a uh -huh. little bit. Just player, former player. Yeah. You never so, know what to expect. Yeah. It's last true. time we had a, a question about their nickname, and oh. he, he demanded to know where we heard <laughs> that one. So those are always fun. Uh -huh. yeah. um, so taco pizza. Sherry, do you want to talk a little I bit about this wonderful I do want to talk recipe? about the taco pizza. Um, but before we do that, you know, we always talk about a gadget, a kitchen gadget that we feel like would help save some time in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So do you and your wife ever forget to take your, your burger out? Every time. Every time. <laughs> so do I. It's, it's one of my, <clears throat> my pet peeves. And, you know, you've got your square of burger, and it's just, even if you put it in the microwave, it's a Mm -hmm. to get it apart. Uh, outer, well, we yeah. have, um, we're sponsored by uh, Pampered Chef and oh, our awesome. consultant is Teresa Brown and she suggested a product for us and this is, we'd love to show this live on the stove but it's a little hard to do but this is, it is, since we don't have a stove, it is used to squish up frozen hamburgers. So you, you essentially you put it in your pan and, and get your pan heated up a little bit and as it melts, this has little edges on it. You can mm -hmm. kind of see that. And you can use it to just kind of punch down your meat as it cooks. And something else that I like about it is when I finish up my hamburger, I like to have my hamburger fine. Mm -hmm. And some people like the big chunkies, but I'm kind of, I like it fine. You don't like the big chunkies? No, I don't. I don't. You like Angela. it in every bite. That's I do. Why. I like it, and especially like for tacos or, mm -hmm. you know, any type of, um, like a loose meat sandwich. I like yeah, that I'm nice, sure. fine, that fine hamburger. And this tool actually helps as you're cooking your burger to get it kind of stomped down and get all those big giant pieces is chomped up. So I'm going to have you just, this is partially frozen. I'm going to have uh -oh. you as the strong man in the group. Mm -hmm. You can kind of show how you can kind of just, it just oh, cuts yeah. right through and that while burger. And he's doing that, I'd like to, to say a couple of words about meat. Um, ground beef, <laughs> there's a lot of different variations. I grew up on a cattle ranch, so I know a lot about ground beef. Um, but there's a lot of different uh, quality, levels of quality that you can get in ground beef. And so we always encourage people to get good quality meat. It makes a lot of difference in whatever you're cooking. Thank and you. one of our sponsors oh, yeah. is Just Good Meat here in Omaha. So they offer very, very, very good quality meat. So it's, it's definitely a good place to check out if you're cooking anything with um, chicken, beef, if you want a nice cut of steak, anything like, like that. Yeah. So definitely try and get a good quality of ground beef. It's yeah. kind of one of well, those Well, especially pets. for a recipe like this, because mm -hmm. your ground beef is really kind of the star of the show. So if you have a really greasy ground beef, it's going to kind of sit and pool on the top, mm -hmm. and then you put your cheese on it, and you've kind of got this greasy mess. So um, ground beef, you know, a good quality ground beef really helps. So what did you think of this tool? I think it's awesome. I actually have one, to be honest Do with you? Yeah, oh, my so gosh. Cool. Fantastic. I know. They're, they're the perfect tool. I think every every kitchen should have one. And, it again, it just it made short work of mm -hmm. doing that. And this wasn't fully frozen. Can you use it on fully frozen? That you, was going to be my question. Okay. Need Trevor, a lot more muscle? You, um, if you really want to work hard, you probably could. <laughs> but I like to do it while I'm browning the meat. Mm -hmm. Just because, okay. you know, when you have meat that's still red, and you, I mean, you can still yeah. mush, mush it and mash it and form it. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're cooking it, it just stays small in little small pieces. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it, it's, like it's a really, really good tool. So I use this tool when I, when I prepared our pizza today. So Trevor, thank you for demonstrating this. And our, uh, our Pampered Chef consultant is going to uh, give you an additional one that you can awesome. give away as a gift. Oh. So take one to you. Cincinnati. Take one go. to yeah. Cincinnati. <laughs> so <laughs> one of the reasons we do this show is because we want our, our viewers at home, our guy viewers at home, to become comfortable in the kitchen. That's the reason for the show is because when they get mm -hmm. in in the on the ladies spaces <laughs> in the kitchen and they're kind of like oh you know can I touch anything yeah. and they're not comfortable with using all the tools in the kitchen but you said you are so mm -hmm. um, you're gonna be the perfect guy to do our show today because we're actually going to put together <laughs> your taco pizza awesome. so we start out with a crust mm -hmm. and it is done very simply with this 
Nice. Right. Are you afraid of opening those? Am I'm I the not. only one who's afraid of opening? It's, just, it's the thing when you're twirling it and it might oh, pop yeah. at any moment. And sometimes it's it like opens, sometimes it doesn't. But this is a great way to start this pizza because mm -hmm. you just basically you have a pan, you roll it out, and you brown it in the oven for what? How many minutes? Like eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes comes out, looks like that. So it's pretty simple to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a great thing if you're putting this together. It's a nice couples project because you can have two people work on it. One, one person can be browning that meat that's mm -hmm. been frozen. <laughs> and the other person can put the crust together and get it in the oven. So then also on this, we have our beans. And mm -hmm. Trevor, you want to tell us a little bit what, that, what we use that for? Yeah, so the beans are basically a sauce. Uh, instead of having a red sauce or, mm -hmm. you know, some barbecue pizzas, barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. you just, yeah, the refried beans are used as a sauce. And Go it, ahead and great. spread that oh, on awesome. there. Show the folks back home how easy that is. And you just heat this up for one minute in your microwave. Doesn't take very long to heat up. And just